the market is just incredible and it's evolving so quickly here. However, because Xpeng are currently leading in the way in China significantly, it's fact and people can actually really enjoy it and implement it within their driving habits and styles. Yeah, hello. Um, yeah, my name's Lewis Black and I'm the commercial lead for the fully charged show uh, here in the APAC region. I think they will, 100% they will. It's something that's still unearthed and it hasn't, the story hasn't been told properly to the Australian consumer yet. However, because Xpeng are currently leading in the way in China, significantly, um, it'll be very easy for you guys to replicate that story here in Australia, tell that to the consumer. So one of the big topic areas that's sort of up for debate here in Australia at present is vehicle to grid. So that's something as an organization we're really focusing on quite heavy to talk about that messaging into our content next year. But the thing is, people like Xpeng, for example, will be able to talk about that so easy because it's already being done in other territories. And it's just a case of just switching on the tap and then just talking about and pushing out that comms and mission here in Australia. Um, but the difference is you guys as a brand as Xpeng, you're ready to go. You just need to tell the story. Um, and the Australian people are re will be ready to, yeah, well, they'll be ready to consume and listen to it. Autonomous driving in Australia is going to be, it's going to be very interesting. And it's going to be very interesting to see the average consumer take that up. I think they will be willing, as long as it's reliable, it's safe. So there have, I'll be honest, there have been other brands um, historically in the last decade that have made autonomous driving work in westernized countries where they sell products. But uh, autonomous driving here in Australia has just got a, the key I feel for autonomous driving to succeed is getting people bums and seats in the cars, using the product, using your software and the already, or the software in, implemented in the Xpeng product already. And they've just got to see it and believe it themselves. And once they get into the cars, they use them, they drive them. Suddenly all this spoof reality is now actual, it's fact and people can actually really enjoy it and implement it within their driving habits and styles. So one of the features that I quite really like is, um, so some of the voice command features where, for example, the Xpeng G6 will, it's able to, you know, it doesn't matter what language you speak nearly, it, almost, it doesn't matter what dialect you are, or how you speak, it can really pick up people's voice commands significantly easier compared to some other brands in the market. And that's something where, when I have had the small glimpse of being able to see a G6 and, and also some feedback I've heard within the industry, that's a small, a small feature that people seem to rave about that actually works well. Because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to talk to, talk to a system or talk to a computer screen and say, please navigate me to here. And then it doesn't recognize your voice or it doesn't, um, it doesn't want to pick up your command or it does something completely different than what you asked it. So um, that's, that's something of the G6 that I've heard 